In this segment, we're going to learn how to create bar and line charts in Splunk. Here we've done a search of index equals internal for the last 60 minutes. We'll go ahead and use one of the quick reports. Let's scroll down and find the group field. Then we'll click on top values. Splunk has automatically added the search language top limit equals 20 and then the group field name that we clicked on. Let's change the limit to 5 and then rerun the search. By default, we're presented with a bar chart. However, we can click on this drop down menu and also change it to a column chart. If we wanted to see this as a line chart or an area chart, it's helpful to add another dimension to the data. I like to use line charts and area charts to show data over time. Let's change the search to time chart count by group and we'll rerun the search. Next, we'll click on the drop down and change the visualization to a line chart. One common question I see is how do I remove null and other from my line chart? The answer to this is in the time chart command you can use use other equals false and use null equals false and press enter. Now you can see those two lines have been removed. To change this to a, an area chart, you'd simply click the drop down and select area. Now an area chart's a little hard to see, so you might want to use the line chart or consider customizing this so that the area chart is stacked. To do that, you'd click on Format, then change Stack Mode from Not Stacked to Stacked, and click on Apply.